early Monday morning, the OSHA inspector walked in, flashed his badge, and uh, it, all of a sudden it was a, it was a new day. We thought that we were on top of things. We thought we had, you know, did everything right, but it's impossible to really understand the magnitude. If you're a range, starting a range, et cetera, the first thing you need to do is you need to get involved with NSSF. If we had not been in that pipeline and headed that direction, um, then we would have had a major problem when it came to OSHA. I've been in the retail business for 23 years, and I've been a proud member of NSSF for that entire time. It is extremely helpful in understanding what's going on with our business day to day and what we can do to operate our businesses more efficiently. In the retail business, it's always the decisions that get made after the office staff has gone home or on the weekend that have the most problems. So being able to have an NSSF compliance consultant on call 24-7 to answer tough questions or clear up murky spots is really beneficial for us. One of the benefits of being becoming an NSSF member is that you can tap into all of this in-depth research and market indicators that the NSSF research department provides. It'll really help you understand your customer and your market that you're operating. To me, and our company, one of the biggest things that they do for us is to have a presence in Washington, on Capitol Hill, working with legislators from all over the country to help protect the Second Amendment rights and the rights of manufacturers everywhere. Nobody else is going to defend us. If we don't do it, we can't rely on anybody else. There's plenty of people out there who don't like what we do, and so we have to go show them we're not the bad guys. The reality is we need to bind together as an industry because as an industry we are under attack and there are people gunning for us and we need to, to bind together as a united front and NSSF and their membership and the service that they're, they're providing is what's allowing us to have the ability to do that instead of being on our own. NSSF is playing not only an important role on Capitol Hill but a permanent role on Capitol Hill. We're going to be here as long as we have members in our organization and hopefully that'll be forever. It makes a real statement about who we are and the type of industry that we're in. The NSSF does so many things as our industry's trade association. Our members expect this of us, whether it's safety education, best environmental practices, coordinating with the ATF, shooting range construction, retailer training, or recruiting new participants to the shooting sports. And we, in turn, need the support of our industry to be able to do these things to promote, protect, and preserve our very future. And we sincerely thank everyone for their help. The benefits that you will receive far outweigh the cost of a membership. We've been in this business for 50 years and through our NSSF Premium Retailer Membership we plan on being here for another 50 years. We really want to thank uh, NSSF for all their support. For helping us to operate our businesses. For allowing us to build a legacy of shooting sports for the future. Start with them, take advantage of the resources they have because if you don't you'll regret it afterwards. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to our stage, National Shooting Sports Foundation President, Steve Sinetti. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're delighted to have each and every one of you here with us tonight. At the conclusion of the first day of the 2015 SHOT Show, I can say that the state of our industry is determined. Despite all the misinformed and often angry rhetoric thrown our way, we are and will remain a vital component of American life and outdoor recreation. Like all Americans, we abhor the criminal misuse of guns, and our hearts go out to the family members of those whose lives were taken by the actions of criminals or the mentally unstable. We've thought long and hard about the best way to help stop such senseless acts, and not just by advocating something that superficially sounds good, but things that actually work. It's the harder, less popular way, but it's the right way. We firmly believe that denying access to firearms by unauthorized individuals is the key, and we are taking action 
determined to have the states improve the submission of all appropriate records, including involuntary mental health commitments to the National Instant Check Background System, as one example. Every day, our members are on the front lines, determined to help prevent guns from getting into the hands of those who shouldn't have them, whether it's manufacturers, including appropriate locking devices, as a way to help stop unauthorized access to firearms, or retailers, working with law enforcement in our Don't Lie for the Other Guy anti-straw purchase program. The NSSF is proud to represent the American firearms industry and its law-abiding, responsible customers. And that's why the state of our industry tonight is determined. We're determined to educate, to persuade, to improve, to grow, to work together, and to succeed in our mission to promote protect and preserve hunting and the shooting sports. Now much of the public and the media are woefully misinformed about who we are and all the good that we do for genuine gun safety. It's impossible to cover everything in the short time we have, so we'll review just a few things that we've done together with many other industry participants in some very important and effective programs. Now, first of all, let's all thank the hardworking NSSF staff those in Newtown, Connecticut, and Washington, D.C., and in here tonight. They all work... <laughs> they all work extraordinarily well for you every day, and they all deserve our appreciation and the big round of applause you've already given them. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. And we're all constantly countering the willful disinformation about this industry being spread by the anti-gun lobby. There he is. <laughs> we are determined to educate the public through blogs, social media, op-eds, TV, radio interviews, and by in-person in appearances around the country. This has been a team effort, and I can tell you it's working. The latest Gallup poll shows that public support for additional gun control measures is back to being a minority opinion. But, but this effort can never let up, because public opinion is a fickle thing, and we must never just preach to the choir. To get the facts out, we've redesigned our website to make it easier to obtain the wealth of information you need to be successful and to arm yourself with the facts concerning our industry, our products, and our responsible policies. To help our members wade through the complex regulatory maze in which this industry must legally operate, we've offered educational and compliance resources for manufacturers, wholesalers, retailers, and ranges with current and retired ATF personnel and other experts in these important fields. Our research department has intensified its offerings determined to provide you with the hard data you need concerning customers, industry trends, and the changing face of today's shooting sports. We're determined to help firearms owners improve their recreational shooting skills through dynamic programs such as our Pull the Trigger educational videos produced in-house. Wheretoshoot.com and Wheretohunt.com make shooters aware of the thousands of safe shooting facilities available nationwide. Our vitally important Don't Lie for the Other Guy and Project Child Safe efforts encourage firearms retailers and owners to obey the many laws regarding the retail purchase of firearms and to practice safe storage of firearms when they're not in use. Over 800 companies and organizations in our industry have signed on to our Own It, Respect It, and Secure It campaign. And unlike false flag gun control efforts masquerading as gun safety programs, we have credibility with gun owners, and we have been providing both effective safety messages and the means to help deny access to guns by unsupervised minors, disturbed individuals, and thieves. Over 36 million free gun locks distributed to over 15,000 communities during the last 15 years have been added to the over 70 million locks and safety literature distributed as original equipment by firearms manufacturers. And yet, the anti-gun lobby says we, and you, 
don't care and do nothing about firearm safety. They are willfully blinded by their own rhetoric, and they are just plain wrong. Close-minded legislators, sensationalist media, and much of the public is simply ignorant about true firearm safety facts. And really, how could they think otherwise when faced with this barrage of misleading reports it would make almost anyone believe that violence and accidents with firearms have increased to epidemic proportions. But you know the truth. Gun control does not equal gun safety. Look at the most, most recent FBI data. Background checks for retail firearm sales are up 104% since 1994, and the violent crime rate has fallen every year, and it's now half of the 1994 rate. Violent crimes are at their lowest number since 1978, and murders are at their lowest since 1968. And even with greatly increased firearm sales and population growth during the last 10 years, homicides involving firearms are down 46%, and fatal firearms accidents are down 22%. And there are now less than 1% of all fatal accidents nationwide. And the anti-gun lobby can't or won't believe these extraordinarily positive facts. So how do we all persuade America's lawmakers and voters of these facts? Well, we start with you, our members. Our NSSF PAC has grown exponentially due to your efforts. Those of you who participate in our legislative fly-ins know the value of one-on-one -on -one contact with your legislators, and we are profoundly grateful for your efforts to get them the true facts about our industry. Our government relations office in Washington, D.C., has been greatly expanded. We're determined to help make your voice heard on the Hill, working effectively together with many other sportsmen's and firearms ownership organizations. The NSSF does many things as your trade association, but we never stand still. We're constantly reviewing and refreshing our programs, eliminating outdated efforts, and determined to continuously improve our services to you. This year, we added a brand new SHOT Show Exhibitor Academy, together with our new show manager, Convex, to help exhibitors get the most out of their SHOT Show experience. It was a resounding success, with 97% of the attendees saying they'd recommend the Exhibitor Academy to a friend. Our industry summit focused on the industry's changing operating environment by dealing with all aspects of increased diversity in the shooting sports by age, sex, and demographics. New ideas were solicited, exchanged, and discussed, and I'm happy to say that our future remains bright across a very broad spectrum of 21st century America. But we'll have to work hard and keep our minds open to new ways of thinking if we're to succeed in growing the shooting sports in the 21st century. The NSSF Rimfire Challenge, originally begun by Ruger, has continued to be an amazingly successful way to attract new participants, and that is if we can only get 22 Rimfire ammunition. <laughs> and like you, we're determined to find some. To help improve shooting facilities across the country, given the record number of new shooters and established firearms owners, safe and inviting places to shoot, our range consultant program continues to help increase the number of the coveted five-star quality shooting ranges. And by improving range access, we're determined to help keep our ranks growing. Because after all, the shooting sports can be enjoyed successfully well after many other athletic pursuits need to be dropped due to age or infirmity. And families can participate together because recreational shooting has an undeniable appeal to younger adults and female shooters, which our surveys show are now the bulk of first-time gun buyers. Now, some pundits say that, oh, the shooting sports are in retreat. Well, again, we look at the facts. Last year's SHOT Show, one of the fastest growing trade shows in the nation, had its highest attendance and satisfaction levels ever. The number of federally licensed firearms dealers is growing. Firearm sales experienced their highest, excuse me, their second highest year ever. And ammunition sales continue at near record levels. Firearms permit and safety classes report long waiting lists, and the number of apprentice hunting licenses increased to well over one million this year. And so there are now over 40 million hunters and target shooters in this country and over 100 million firearms owners. And if this is a retreat, 
as those who see no appeal in what we do have alleged, I truly wonder what an advance would look like. Our First Shots program continues to introduce thousands of newcomers to the safe and responsible target shooting experiences, and over 40% of these new participants return within a year to the store or range where they've taken their first shots. No, far from being in retreat, America is embracing the recreational shooting sports. None of the false accusations, nor the slander, nor the understandable but misguided emotional outbursts wrongly directed at us instead of those personally responsible for heinous crimes will deter us from the lawful, responsible, and safe pursuit of our vocations or law-abiding Americans' pursuit of happiness with their families and their friends. The numbers tell part of our success, but not the whole story of our determination. The facts are there. The record numbers of firearm sales and new owners during the last eight years, the growing number of new sports shooters from many diverse backgrounds, the record number of over 12,000 NSSF member organizations, the tellies and the Stevie Awards for our determined communications efforts to counter media ignorance, fear, and bias, the statistics on the tremendous decreases in crimes and accidents with firearms so often overlooked in the media, the public opinion polls showing support for what we do at a record high and support for gun control at a record low. But the truest story is the determination of many, many millions of ordinary people who want nothing more than to peacefully, lawfully, and responsibly exercise their constitutional rights to protect their families and to enjoy the shooting sports. And by their determined rejection of the false notion of controlling criminals by heaping even more restrictions on the law abiding. I have never seen our industry more determined to succeed in its mission by working together. And may that determination never falter. Thank you.